Yo, so we back in here for another edition F your mother. And it looks like social media reacts to upcoming Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson fight. Now, I don't know what kind of dope Jake Paul is smoking. You know, these white boys is they feeling Brody. They feeling themselves. Now, I don't know if it was him or his brother that beat Timothy Woodley or whatever that dude name was. Beat him up, right? And beat up some other Nate Robinson, right? Some basketball player. And he was just washing them, right? Inexperienced fighters. However, him stepping in the ring trying to fight Mike Tyson, it's a big mistake. Even at 57, like it's, I don't think it's going to play out the way he think it's going to play out. Now, don't get me wrong. Jake Paul and his brother, they got like a slight advantage on Tyson. They in their late 20s. I think they might be 26, 27, something like that. And Mike Tyson is... I ain't gonna lie, he's well over the hill. He's almost 60. He's three years shy of 60. However, Mike Tyson and got back into shape because it was a period of time where he was kind of dumpy. But he didn't kept in shape. He didn't, you know what I'm saying? He looked pretty nice when he was fighting Roy Jones. Now, I know either one of these bums can't fight Roy Jones. And I know they can't fight none of the dudes that Tyson fought in the 80s. Now, a lot of people are gonna say, well, that was the 80s and 90s. This is 2024. It's a new day. And it is. And you guys are right. However, they don't make men like they did back in the 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s. These cowards that they make it now, they're effeminate. They don't have any masculinity. They're being told that their masculinity is toxic. If they do have any masculinity, he has undertones of effeminate ways and traits. So I'm not convinced. There's no raw, cutthroat savagery of the... The modern man. Any dude that's between the ages of 0 and 25, like, I don't believe you, bro. I really don't. I might believe you if you 30 and above. And that's a that's debatable, right? But if you 20 to 29, like, I'm not buying that. I, you don't have the savagery that it takes to fight a man like Mike Tyson. They don't make Mike Tyson men no more. Mike Tyson is among the era of dudes that was my dad's age. My dad is a different type of man. Now, me and my dad don't see it eye to eye, and I love him, but I don't like him. However, I wouldn't fight my dad, and I can fight. My dad is solid, built like a brick house. Even at 64 years old, he can lift a refrigerator up. He can lift a sectional couch. I've seen my dad lift 350 pounds without even breaking a sweat. The average man can't do that, except niggas have been in prison. My dad never been to prison. He could do that. i seen my dad curl 90 pounds. I have yet to see a man, a younger generation man, curl 90 pounds. I have yet to see a man my age curl 90 pounds. I, I, they, I just, they don't do that. Like, all they dudes, Mike Tyson and my dad's age, all they know is lift weights, beat niggas up, and get money. That was the three primary objectives back in the 80s and 90s. And I know y'all gonna say, well, what about getting women? Get ain't Mac Holes. That was a, that, that, that was an asterisk. That was a default. You're supposed to do that. But, yeah, they just don't make men like they make my dad and Mike Tyson. So, I don't think this is... And I think, if you ask me, it's going to go a little bit like this. And Jose got the worst of that one. The mouthpiece goes, and Tyson is on top of him. The ball that ties him up. In any event, if y'all like this episode, subscribe. Turn the notifications on, like, comment, and share. And YouTube, I didn't cuss, so relax. In any event, I'm out.